Hello, this is my first uh, sort of teaser Let's Play video. Um, I'm here playing Hometown Story. Uh, I just got this game at a used game store, and I saw that it was from the makers of Harvest Moon, and I had never played it, so I wanted to give it a try. Uh, this is my store. I'm in year one. I'm toward the end of year one. I believe it's the 12th day of winter, and as you can see, I have more money than I know what to do with. If you've gotten to this point of the game, you might be frustrated that you're so rich, but you don't have a wife yet. But I've been getting more pieces of the blue feather. I have five already out of the seven. Uh, so this is my store. It's expanded fully, and it's huge, as you can see. Um, I've got plenty of more items to stock it, but I honestly don't need the money, so I don't spend a lot of time in my store, unless I am anticipating uh, the vendor at 2 p.m. or a cutscene. So let's see. Let's just check out the town. Let me turn on the music, although it's raining, so there's no cute music. It's not as good when it's raining. Yeah, it's just... Rain. Yeah, so you can forage. Um, there's not much to forage for, honestly. Uh, like I said, once I'm in at this point in the game, I just need to unlock enough cutscenes to become, you know, bestest friends with everybody. That's my real priority. I really like all the different characters in this game. Uh, they all have a lot of interesting backstories and cutscenes and friendships that they develop. It's pretty cute. Uh, it does get a little tricky. Uh, some of the gameplay is kind of wonky, like if I run too close to this guy's house. Whoa. Like, it kind of throws you off. Luckily, there's a map on the bottom screen, and I've always been a big fan of that map. Thank you, Scarecrow. I'm sure you're very popular. Um, everyone in town tells me how successful my shop is. Oh, here we go. Oh, yay! Bobby's not gonna die. Bobby's been very sick. He grew these healing fruit earlier in the game for the whole town, but he didn't grow any for himself. And he's been training this guy to be a farmer. Hooray! See, the game has lots of, like, heartwarming little cutscenes like that, and it really makes running around and checking, checking their houses, checking the different areas every day worth it. She's one of my marriage candidates, and she's the least interesting to me. All she does is complain that her mom's restaurant sucks. Which it does, but, you know. Tell me something else you're doing with your life. Let's see... It's the blacksmith's big sister. Uh, spoiler alert, the mentor they've been looking for is actually their big sister, and she moves in with you. Into the town, anyway. So sometimes there's a lady selling stuff here. I forget her name, this character, but it's raining, so she's usually right here. Not today. I'll go back to my store and show you what the line looks like. Most NPCs are okay waiting like half an hour for you to check them out. So I'll generally go back to my store a couple times throughout the day. Some days I'll sit in my store all day to make a lot of money. I think that's part of the key to getting the blue feathers. But here's all these folks. Ooh, they angry. Oh, cutscene time. Yeah! I like her. She's my favorite marriage candidate. Why is the wind spirit with us? Are we double dating here? Is this a three-person date?
We're going to do what? Are we going to do something with the wind sprite? I hope this cutscene doesn't take too long. I don't have much memory left. Oh my god. So she threw her papers to the wind so I would pick them up. That was... That was a strange date. Okay, now I can check out that whole huge line of people. Hopefully. It takes a while to load your shop if there's a lot of people in there, I've noticed. Sometimes they get mad while they're in line, but I don't need the money, so I don't care. All right, and I'm pretty much going to sit in my shop for the rest of the day and wait for some people to pick up some key items. So there you go. Um, overall, I can do an actual review of this game later, but overall I'm really enjoying this game. Um, it has a lot of the aspects I like from Harvest Moon, but... A lot less of the work, so it's pretty easy. Alright, thanks for watching my first video. Bye!